TechCrunch Disrupt is really privileged to have a visit today from Nifty, the network for training entrepreneurship, teaching entrepreneurship. And Dan Delaney is here. He's the chief marketing officer. He's going to tell us a little bit about the network and its efforts over the past 25 years to train young entrepreneurs. And then we're going to have eight one-minute presentations from some of their star young people who are on their way to a national finals competition for entrepreneurship. Dan? Thanks, Ned. Um, yeah, Nifty, Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship. We're a global nonprofit organization. We have programs all across the US and in 10 other countries. Our, um, we use entrepreneurship as a lever to connect traditional school learning, such as math and English, to um, the real world by having all of our students create a business plan for an original business idea of their own. And of course, a lot of them get really excited about the idea, so they try and launch the business, and we support them doing that as well. Um, all the kids that you're about to meet are competing in our National Youth Entrepreneurship Challenge in a couple of weeks, where they will be vying for $25,000 of venture capital and other prizes. So I think we should get to the kids, because they're really the stars of the show. Absolutely. Thank you, Dan. So first up, we have Matthew Howard from Corona, New York. Matthew? Across the globe, we had millions of young adults utilizing their artistic talents to tell us stories. Many of these young artists dream of turning their passion and hobbies into careers. But how can these artists reach this career? By performing at local coffee shops or small venues. They are effective ways to practice, but they're not efficient ways to reach mass audiences or potential employers. Of course, we have job websites, but a resume does not describe the beautiful creativity in an artist. My name is Matthew Howard, and I'm a young poet. My dream is to pursue a career to help me exercise these creative talents. This is why it's for myself and for my fellow artists that I introduce to you Creative Zone, the first online networking community for artists of all types. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Next up is Gina Hua from San Jose, California. Morning, everyone. Growing up, every time I hear the tea kettle whistling, I know my dad is slowly and carefully brewing the most delicious cup of tea. However, his way of preparing it is time consuming and a hassle, and a little annoying with the tea whistling around. For my sister, she prefers tea bags. Tea bags are efficient and it's great for her busy life, but nothing comes close to the taste of my dad's traditional tea. As for me, I love both. I want the best of both worlds. The fresh, flavorful tea you would get from brewing it, as well as the efficiency of the tea bag. So that's why I, Gina Huynh, created Infinite Tea Sticks. You get the fresh, loose leaf tea in your stick, but there's a twist to it. It's slightly sweetened. You get the efficiency from not having to bring your sugar and honey along with you. All you have to do is roll the lightly sweetened dissolvable tea in your hot cup of water, stir to taste, and enjoy Infinity, stirring goodness into your cup. Thank you. Thanks, Gina. Oliver Gomez from Dallas, Texas. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oliver Gomez. I'm in the ninth grade and I'm 14 years old. And today, I would like to talk to you about my business, Why Can't We Speak? But first of all, hola, como están? Yo sé que ahorita no me entienden, pero ahorita en un segundo les explicaré. I bet half of y'all teachers didn't understand what that meant. Well, then you might be interested in my business, Why Can't We Speak? A very well-educated service that helps teachers learn easy Spanish at an affordable price. Thank you. Great. Kale Morrow from Dodge City, Kansas. What if I were to tell you that my business can shape the future? Now what if I were to tell you that my business can make it so that every child's dream will come true? Hi, my name is Kale Morrow, and today I'd like to talk to you all about something that I like to call Believable Inc. 
Believable Inc. is a service-driven business that utilizes basic theater techniques to develop public speaking skills in children, which in turn lead to enhanced self-confidence, productivity, and success in everyday life. At Believable Inc., it is our desire to help children realize their dreams, no matter what they may be, can be made a reality. All you have to do is believe. If you have any questions, or if you'd simply like to know more about Believable Inc., please feel free to check out my website, BelievableInc.com. Thank you. Thank you, Kale. <laughs> Josiah and Jesse Council from Midland, Pennsylvania. Hello, my name is Jesse Council. My name is Josiah Council. And, and we, we are, are the founders, founders and CEOs of J&J &J Soothing Cream. Jane j Soothing Cream is a company that manufactures and markets an all-natural cream that is used to alleviate pain caused from sore muscles, sprains, and joint-related problems. And unlike pills, it doesn't have to be ingested to relieve you of pain. Our cream is made from 10 of the most effective herbs, essential oils, and beeswax. Our cream dates back to my great uncle, who was an herbalist and needed an all-natural solution to soothe his arthritis, which he contracted in most of his body. As a result, he created this cream. This inspired us to create our business, J&J &J Soothing Cream. It's, it's nature's, nature's way. way. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Diana Sutherland from Providence, Rhode Island. We've all heard the sound of a pen tapping on the edge of a table. It's annoying, right? That's because it's just one sound, and sounds alone are meaningless. But when we take a profusion of sounds and put them together, that's when the real mm. magic is created. Realize it or not, music is a part of everyone's life. From that commercial tune that gets stuck in your head, your favorite artist's song, or better yet, a composition of your own, music is recorded and played all around you. My name is Diana Sutherland, and at the Garage Recording Studio, we capture your magic so you can bring it anywhere. Thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, Vincent Quigg from Los Angeles, California. How many of you have cracked or known someone who have cracked any personal electronic device? In the US alone, there's over 400,000 iPhones a month that are in need of diagnostic, repair, or even replacement. My business is TechWorld, and we specialize in iPhone customization and repair. In the first five months since running my business, I'm proud to say we've had over 100 unique customers, $5,000 in revenue, and we've recently employed two people. We could bring them all out for a round We've been featured on AOL.com's homepage, and we'll be on Fox 11 News next month. I stand behind Tech World, and we'll be able to fix your device faster, less expensive, and just as good as the original manufacturer. My name is Vincent Quigg, and I'm the CEO and founder of Tech World. I'm just stay out here, we'll get everyone out. Let's have a big round of applause for these guys as they go off to compete in the Nifty Finals. Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs>